everyone welcome to the vlog um i actually started this vlog last week it's now saturday and i started the vlog not yesterday last friday so like a week and a day ago um when i took you with me when i went to get my eyelashes done because i have had my eyelashes done um and already those some have fallen off here and here i've noticed so they're not as full as they were when i first got them done but um I'm just going to keep going back and getting infills and everything anyway. But I do really like them. I'm enjoying having them on. And doing my makeup was just so nice and easy. I just put a bit of bronzer. What have I got on? I've got concealer, bronzer, highlighter, lipstick. And I did my eyebrows. Yeah, and that's it. So, um, yeah, my makeup routine is nice and easy, super simple. So, yeah, I do like them. But I was going to vlog last week. Already my arm's aching, but let's do this. I was gonna vlog last week and I just but I just wasn't in the mood. I was just too tired and I just thought, do you know what, I'll leave it and I'll vlog next week instead. And then um, on Monday, I went to Primark to do the shopping. On Tuesday, I filmed the video. And then on Wednesday, in a panic, I quickly edited that video, ready to go, oh, ready to upload it that same day. So that was like, the i think that's the quickest i've edited a video and just uploaded it and then just hopes for the best basically um so that was on wednesday and then i just decided that actually let me put you over here because sorry what a horrible angle can you if i'll put you there can you see me because i can't be bothered getting the tripod out so lazy again can you see me is that all right It'll have to do, as long as you can hear me. Um, and then, what was I just saying? Oh, what was I just saying? I um, Basically, I was going to vlog and then I just didn't have the energy to. And yeah, this week I just decided, actually, I'm going to take another break again. Because out... Um, burnout as well and truly kicked in again. I just feel tired. And I just think it's time for another break. So, yeah. But... Then, I kind of felt like, actually, I feel like chatting to you guys, though. So, I'm going to... I decided to just pick up the camera today and talk to you. And then, I'm just going to film this vlog. But, honestly, I don't know when I'm going to upload it. So, whenever this video is out, that's when I'll be back again. I should be feeling refreshed and back and getting the vlogs going. But, um, because now, what it is... Sorry, you seem too far away. Let me try and, like, rest my arm and go for it. Now, what it is, is um, I'm not too... The subscriber count, I know I said I won't talk about this again, but the subscriber counts I'm not worried about anymore. Like, I love the amount of subscribers that I have. I love the way my channel is coming along. Like, I'm loving all that. But at the moment, I'm struggling with watch time. It's the, um, Milo's just wandered up. It's the watch time that, um, I don't have at the moment. So that's a little bit like, oh, Every time I film a video, and I'm, I'm like, yeah, this video, this is going to do well. And then when it doesn't, I'm like, oh, all that hard work for nothing. So, yeah, I'm just feeling a little bit tired and, um, just thought I'd take a break and I just thought I'd go back to when I do come back I'm just going to go back to filming vlogs again for a little while um and just see how we go with that because it's I have certain subscribers that subscribe to me because they like my hauls and I have certain subscribers that subscribe because they like my cleaning videos and then I have certain subscribers that subscribe because they like my channel in general um and I like you guys you guys are the best <laughs> so um yeah like and like you support my channel and you'll watch my videos regardless of what i upload so yeah i thought this vlog is really it's just for you guys i just want to sit here and chat with you so yeah that's what i'm doing and i'm gonna try not to stress too much and overthink my channel too much because <clears throat> you may not have noticed but like behind the scenes i'm kind of like oh what do i do next what do yeah, I started stressing and getting myself all worked up, up over nothing. But anyway, yesterday I watched, sorry I keep looking up there because I'm like I hope this is okay. I've got my hair up and out of the way today. My hair really needs washing so I decided to just put it in like this quick bun because today I am leaving the house. This morning I was like right I'm going to go for a pedicure today and then I was like actually I can't be bothered. But then I rung them up and I booked myself an appointment to make sure that I go because look outside. Look at, look at Tilly. Tilly! Ignore that comb there. 
Milo was playing with it. I was going to throw it in the bin, but then Milo is using it as a toy, so I've decided to keep it just for him. Tilly has just been chilling here like this all morning. Um, but yeah, look outside. The weather is really nice, so I decided that today I am definitely going to um, go out for a bit. So yeah, I've, I've booked the um, pedicure, so I'm going to do that. Pop to Sainsbury's, come back. I've got some work that, well, not work that I need to do, but things that I need to do for my YouTube channel but nothing to do with uploading it's just some things that I need to do so I'm going to do that later and then I'm going to jump back on Netflix because this morning I started watching um, I'm watching Time the Khalif Browder story I hope I'm saying that right Time the Khalif Browder story I've heard so much about this um, like when it was all happening and like this story is always referred to when you're watching things but this is the first time that I'm sitting down actually watching the documentary and I watched one episode this morning I put it on my stories as well so if you saw that on my story actually I put that on my stories and I put Tilly on my stories so if you saw all of that this is when I'm filming the vlog um, but yeah so I started I've watched one episode and again it's part of the Black Lives Matter like playlist that they have um, so yeah so I'm just gonna like watch bits of it I'm gonna watch the rest when I get back um, and yesterday I watched, so basically if you haven't watched that I think you should, I recommend that you watch that. And yesterday I watched a documentary called The Social Dilemma and it's all about like people having, well it's all about the life that we're living now and how society is addicted to social media, which I think we all know anyway, but just like it was going like behind the scenes and talking about like how and why and how they grab us and how they get us basically um so again that was a really good documentary that i really really recommend that you watch um i think that's a new one yeah 2020 it's new but yeah i watched that yesterday last night that's only one it's like a one like the time is a series so i'll be watching each episode but that one's just like an hour and a half long episode so yeah i recommend you watch that because it was very very interesting and to be fair, I'm not addicted, like I told you before, if you watch my q and I'm not addicted to social media. Like, I take breaks all the time. I check Instagram once or twice a week. And the only reason why I check it is just to see if I've got any DMs or any messages or comments that I don't want to ignore. Um, but otherwise, I don't really... I'm not into social media anyway, and Instagram. And, but obviously, because I have a YouTube channel and I want to connect with everyone, I make sure that I'm on there. And obviously, I do like sharing my pictures and stuff, and I do like to see what people are up to. But the whole, the whole rule, one minute, my eyelashes off. Oh, don't know what's going on there. The whole, um, what's it called? Like the whole system, Instagram system, Instagram environment. I don't know. It may, yeah, yeah, it's not for me. But anyway, yeah, that's what I'm watching. That's what I recommend you watch as well. What's new? I feel like, is there anything else that I wanted to quickly say here? No, basically, I just want to do a vlog where I just speak to you when I speak to you. I might not speak to you again for another week or so, seeing, seeing as I'm not under pressure to upload this video, or I might end up speaking to you all day long, I don't know. But I just wanted to just sit here and chat with you and connect with you and just, because I feel like I've been trying to film videos where I'm and not vlogs just to try and get a bit of variety on my channel but I just want to chat to you as well I don't want to lose that connection and I want to I don't know I want to stay in contact with you do you know what I mean and I feel like I've kind of been hiding behind my other videos just I don't know why I can't even explain it I don't know it's just life isn't it life it's the pressure it's I think it's because I really really do you know what? Let me be honest with you. I started this channel because that is just sorry. I can't. <laughs> my arm's aching now. I started this channel because I, I'm not gonna lie. I never realised how much work YouTube was. And even though all the other videos and YouTube YouTubers always said it's a lot of hard work, I always thought, yeah, right. It's not that hard. But actually, it is. It's draining. It's tiring. And I've been doing this now like 100% putting 100% in for nearly two years. Next month it will be two years. I started the channel properly in October 2018. I 
posted videos before then but I never took it seriously I'd post a video once in a blue moon I didn't have a community and genuine regular um subscribers then whereas now I do I recognize you guys you chat to me over on Instagram and you talk to me in my comments below so like now like there's a community of us but before I didn't have um so I don't really class that time I class it from October 2018 and I'm not quite where I want to be yet um and sometimes it can play on my mind it can get to me a little bit and I'll start overthinking things I forgot what I was saying again oh my god how can I forget what was I just saying? What was the point? What, where was I going with this conversation? I was saying that... Oh yeah, so I started this channel because I wanted it to be like a side hustle and effectively a small business to go alongside my job, my day job. And it's not there yet. So that's why sometimes I overthink things and get overwhelmed and get stressed out and I start feeling deflated and disappointed and all of those emotions. And yeah, I know I'm not the only one, honestly. And after watching time this morning, talk about humbling. You know, you just need reminding that actually we are so lucky and sometimes, again, with social media, you can go on there and it looks like everyone's living a fabulous life and everyone's happy all the time and everyone's so content with what they've got going on in their life that you forget like it's just one picture and that picture's probably edited and they probably took that picture because I know I do sometimes I take a picture I have to take 10 of them before I'm like okay this one I never just take one picture and whoa that's perfect let's upload that no no that's a lie never <laughs> I'm never going to pretend that happens um so yeah I, um what's, what was I just saying I oh my god I'm waffling what was my point I forgot what my point is. The point is that when it's all said and go done, the point is that I wish I had a career that I loved. And I know there's loads of people out there, you've got a job. We've all got jobs and we do it because it pays the bills, not because we particularly love it or we're passionate about it. It's just a job and I'm the same. My job is just a job. And I feel so blessed because at the moment I get to work from home and I've got it cushy really, but it's just not something that I'm passionate about and I want to have a job that I'm passionate about. I want to wake up every morning and be excited to go to work and be, and I, I thought that that's what YouTube could be for me and because it isn't, then I'm like, oh, it's the end of the world. It's not fair. And then I feel like a spoiled brat, so yeah. But I'm only human. We're all only human. Oh my God, I'm talking nonsense. I think I'm going to stop. I'm just going to quickly show you though. This is... If it's tidy, it might be a bit messy. Okay, just a very quick look. This is where I work from home. That's my workstation. Got my screen, my laptop, my um, works phone and my thingy. So yeah, when I'm working from home, I'm basically sat here in Jeray's bedroom. And this is, my, this is my home office for the day job. And then, obviously, my home office for YouTube is a lot more elegant. This is where I work from home when it comes to YouTube. Um, this is what I was just resting you on then, so just ignore that. And I've moved my heart. I've moved my heart over there and i um, moved my flowers over there just to see if I like that for a bit. And just keep this as plain and simple as possible. Oh, and that's it. Do you remember when I said I'm going to change all this area over here? I changed my mind. I went on to Ikea, this was a few weeks ago now, wow I'm talking way too much, sorry, but this was a few weeks ago now, I went to, um, I went online to Ikea and I ordered a new mirror, I ordered an Expedit shelf, like you know Lara, I've got, I've got them there, you know where it's a two, and that this one's the eight, that's a two, well I ordered the, um, I ordered the four, and what else did I order, I ordered a new desk chair, I ordered a new cover for the sofa. I ordered a few things. And then I went to bed that night. I ordered it just before I was going to bed. And then I just kept thinking, what have I done? What have I done? That was so silly. What have I done? I don't even need this stuff. I don't even... So then the next morning, I quickly cancelled it. Because I was like, I don't need this stuff. So I'm trying now to get in the habit of stop buying. I used to be someone that didn't really spend that much money. I was 100% a saver. And recently, I feel like I've just been buying stuff. And you know you just think this is like, 
I'm doing this for no reason. I, I really, really, really want to cut down on my spending. And that was the first time that I just stopped myself because I was like, yes, I'd like a higher mirror. Yep, but it's not the end of the world. It's a mirror, it works. Like, it's not super small, like, it, it's fine, it works. Like, what am I doing? And then all I've done instead is just moved. I just move my bag and I just keep it in there instead. But I was going to have it on display here, hide all the wires, blah, blah, blah. And you know when you just get to a point where you're like, I'm just being extra now, I'm not doing that. So yeah, I stopped. But wow, I am waffling, talking nonsense. This is just, <laughs> I don't even know what kind of vlog this is, what it's going to be called. I don't know. But I just felt like picking up my camera, speaking to you guys and keeping it real. And it's just because I'm in quite, I'm in a bit of a sulk. I'm not sulking, kind of am. I'm not feeling sorry for myself, but I kind of am. No, I'm not feeling sorry for myself. I'm just irritated. You know when you work so hard on something or you have a goal and you're just like, yes, this is going to happen, let me do this. And then it doesn't. Like, I'm a positive person and I'm very much like, keep going. Like, we've got to make this happen. Just don't give up. Don't feel sorry for yourself. Don't be entitled. Don't be entitled and just think that things are going to happen for you. Like, I'm very aware of, you know, keep it humble, keep it real, blah, blah, blah. But then someday, someday, cannot speak. Some days, I'm just like, oh, it's not fair. I've had enough. And that's what I feel like right now. Oh, my God. I was... <laughs> I was talking away to you guys, waffling on with myself, and I didn't even realise that my camera had cut off, so I think it only lets me speak for 15 minutes, and then it cuts off, and I forgot, and I'm just sat here waffling along, and then I realised it wasn't even on, I was like, wait, but I just checked and I just saw where I was last speaking to, so... Anyway guys, basically what I was saying is I'm going to go now, I'm going to quickly watch a little bit more of time, actually I probably don't have time now, <laughs> it's called time and I don't know if I've got time, I'm going to watch it for about 15 minutes and then I'm going to set off, go for my pedicure and then um, yeah, I'll speak to you guys either when I get back or whenever I have something of value to say to you guys, I'll pick it up but yeah we're just gonna go with we're going to oh my god we are going to go with the flow with this vlog and yeah that's it basically yeah guys actually quickly i've just remembered that i made a smoothie yesterday and it's really nice it is it is um oh what is it it's blueberries banana spinach Blueberries, banana, spinach, cacao powder, flaxseed. Probably should have thought about it before. I told you. Oh, what is it? I got blueberries, banana, blueberries, banana, spinach, cacao powder, coconut water with flaxseed. And avocado that's it that's what this is and oh my gosh it tastes really nice I always feel really healthy when I do this because I've been eating not that great again recently I've been trying and then just not actually I've not been too bad but I'm really I'm not really good at eating um, fruit I wish I was but I'm just not when there's fruit in the kitchen the kids will be so excited and they'll just eat it before I've even thought about attempting to eat some. Like they love their fruit, which I'm so glad about. Um, but I'm rubbish at it, but I'll eat it if it's in a smoothie. So yeah, I made this yesterday. So I'm going to quickly have this first, then I'm going to go for my pedicure. That is my plan for now. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly share that with you because it's so nice. Although I think I might treat myself to some chocolate. I don't know. But anyway, um... Mm. Maybe I will. Just for this weekend. It's my weekend without the kids, so I'm allowed. Anyway, yeah, that's what I'm going to have now. Because it tastes really good, so I thought I'd tell you about it. Yeah, that's it. Okay, right. Let me quickly watch this, because I'm going to run out of time, and I won't even... Oh my god, yeah, time's ticking. Alright, I will chat to you in a little while. Cheers. Guys, you know what, you start, you watch something like this and you carry on watching, um, I'm still watching time, and you carry on watching something like this and it just makes you feel pathetic for, literally I just feel embarrassed about what I've just been complaining about, like the crap that some of these people have to go through, that's, 
you know what? I've not even got any words but anyway I've nearly finished this now and it's time for me to set off and like I know I said that I'm going it's probably this vlog is probably going to be one of those vlogs where I'm a little bit all over the place but whatever but anyway uh guys if you haven't watched time yet the Khalif browder I'll put it on the screen to make sure that I say it correctly and give it justice but honestly if you haven't watched it give it justice I don't know if that's the right word but basically if you haven't watched it honestly watch it it's so humbling and I already know how it ends but I don't want to get there but um yeah it just makes me feel embarrassed for complaining about my life really I've got nothing to complain about but it still goes down to that where I'm so grateful for everything that I have in my life but it's still I still want more and I, because I want to dream bigger and there's such an amazing life out there that we all should experience but at the same time you watch something like this and it makes you absolutely embrace and be grateful for what you have I mean I'm sat here watching this and now I'm off to get a pedicure I mean seriously life is crazy just sometimes I just think it just doesn't make any sense but, um, anyway I better set off quick outfit of the day before I leave I'm wearing my Primark do you remember my Primark haul that I did that I uploaded in August Yes, it was August. Um, that long cardigan, I really like it. So I'm wearing that with my Mulberry handbag, my black H&M dress. To be honest, guys, I'm not that keen on this dress anymore. I bought it from my H&M haul and I loved it at the time, but now it's more of just a casual chilled dress simply because it collects too much fluff. I've had to go over it with the lint like 10 million times and it's just a bit of a pain. So now it's just more of my chilled casual dress. Um, yeah, it's not my favourite anymore. Um, and I'm also wearing my new look sandals. There's Tilly. And yes, we are good to go to go and get my pedicure. Finally. Yeah. now um <laughs> i feel paranoid vlogging in my car in public but um it's now wednesday and i'm off to take my car to the garage because i'm booked in for a mot and a service um so i thought i'd carry on vlogging today but i am actually using my phone right now because i want to test if the phone quality is actually better than my camera that i normally use because um I really want to hold you up, but there's people over there. Let me hold it like here. Um, but yeah, because basically whenever I film on my camera, I love using my camera because it naturally um, filters like the lighting. Like say, for example, now it might be a bit dark in here and this might come out dark, but on my camera, it will brighten everything up just naturally. Right, I'm going to hold you down here instead um, because basically there's a fan in front of me and it's got a work lo a load of like, what are they called builders in there um so yeah so you know they're probably not even paying attention to me but you know when you feel paranoid thinking what if they are um but yeah also so the other downfall of this is i just quickly watched that back to make sure that i was in shot i'm filming using the back of my phone so i'm literally just talking to the back of my phone now so i don't know what i look like i don't know if i'm in shot i don't know if i'm cutting off my eyes or not even then i just watched that back and thought oh what an ugly angle <laughs> so um yeah but i just want to see because using my phone my camera basically every time i film it is coming out at the lowest setting and that setting is really rubbish i really don't like it and i do every time i set it to be at the best of its quality but when i come to transform transfer the footage to my 
computer for some reason it's coming out at the worst quality so i don't know why it's getting on my nerves so i thought let me just see if i can vlog using my phone so today is a little bit of a test i'm going to try and vlog today and compare the footage to what i filmed on saturday compared to what i filmed today oh and the van that i was just talking about before the van is just driving past yay that was the van so uh, i feel a bit more better now i felt like there was like staring before there probably wasn't i mean they really wasn't, but I just felt paranoid. I prefer to vlog when there's nobody around. Um, but yeah, so anyway, let's just see how today goes. But I need to stop talking and get to the garage because like I said, I've got MOT and a service. So I'm gonna be gone. Like I've got to go the whole day without my car today. However, this morning so far, I've not been able to do my workout on a Wednesday morning like I used to. It's just too much hassle with the kids getting ready for school and stuff. So it now 100% is just my weekend work out my weekend morning routine you know the video that i did i basically do just stick to the weekends with that now so at least i'll be able to get my steps in because i've got to drive there but i've got to walk all the way home so anyway i'm talking too much let me let me go so i just had the confidence to speak speak in public and i managed to chat to you guys whilst walking down the street and then i just watched it back and realized that i had the camera facing the wrong way so I was basically facing out there and not here. So that's the first big mistake with talking, vlogging, using my phone. I wasn't even filming myself. And because I'm talking to the back of my phone, I wasn't even aware. But what I was saying is that I forgot my mask. I plan to go, there's a Wilco's near the garage that I've just left my car and I plan to go in there and buy a few things and I've completely forgot my mask. So the first thing that I'm gonna do when I get home is I'm going to make sure that I put a mask in every single bag that I own because this isn't the first time that I've done this and it's so frustrating. I was planning to run a few errands, go into Wilco's, buy a few things from there but with no mask I didn't even want to risk like attempting to go into the shop. There's only a few things that I need but I just thought it's not worth it so hopefully I'll go, hopefully I can go back on my way to picking up the um, car but I prefer to go in the morning because there's nobody there especially while all the kids are at school it's just the best the best time to go but anyway oh I can't believe that I had a full conversation with you I was telling you how oh I found a new route home I found a quicker way I never knew you could walk this way chatting away and this camera wasn't even facing me so embarrassing <laughs> Oh dear, you can't even see me. Hi, where can I put you so that you can see me? Guys, I'm back. Oh yeah, my letter, I need to do something. Um, that pink thing there is for my neighbor and I keep forgetting to tell her that it's here. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm using my camera again because my phone is just being hassle. I don't know if you can tell the difference like do you get what I mean? Like when I use the camera, the lighting's better. I mean, you can still see my spots, but I haven't got that much makeup on, so you can see my pink chin. Whatever. Basically, I um. Oh, <laughs> right. So I'm editing. I started editing this. Well, oh, oh, it's in the afternoon, by the way. Now I need to make some lunch. It's afternoon now, and I've been sat at my iMac, started to edit this vlog, and I am waffling so much. So I am sorry, but whatevs. Um, I don't even say that, whatever, it's not even something that I say, but whatever. Um, um, yeah, and there's a big section in it where I'm talking to you in the car and it just keeps, uh, 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 and then freezing. So I might have to take that part out if it doesn't sort itself out. Um, so there's going to be a big chunk missing of when I'm in the car talking, um, but there's not really much I can do about it. And to be fair, it's probably not anything important anyway, but it's just concluded that maybe I shouldn't use my phone after all, because maybe I'm better off just using my camera, because maybe this is um, better. I don't know. You'll have to let me know from that little snippet from today that I filmed earlier. Let me know if you guys can see a difference. Um, but already I feel much better filming with this camera anyway. And second thing, <laughs> my car failed its MLT. <laughs> so something needs fixing and they're going to fix it for me. And I also need to still pay for the MLT itself, the repairs and... I just said just go ahead and pay for the service as well but it's annoying because i only paid 1500 when was this was this the beginning of this year I swear it was this year 
it was before lockdown just not long before lockdown it was it was this year not long before lockdown i had to repair something else i can't even remember even now i don't even know what's wrong like he was telling me you know you're just like all right yeah when anybody talks about the car like i have no idea i know where the steering wheel is i know how to drive it but don't go any deeper than that like i'm not interested like people talk to me and i'm like okay yeah i'm on the phone like right okay yeah right yeah just just go ahead and let's do this then so he could be conning me for all i know and charging me for something that doesn't really need doing but I trust him. I trust him. I actually bought my car from there and I always go back to them and they're really friendly. In fact, he was very complimentary. I think he was flirting with me a little bit. He was like, you looked very beautiful today. I was like, oh, okay, thanks. Apparently I looked more beautiful than I have ever before. It must be my lashes. But anyway, I'm going to make something to eat and then I'm going to chill for a little bit. And then I'm going to go and meet Lachey. I love a Wednesday because I get to go and meet Lachey. Jeray doesn't care about me going to meet him. He's like happy being all big and grown up and going to school to and from by himself. Whereas Lachey's like, yeah, you're going to come and meet me. So yeah, I'm like, hi. So yeah, and oh God, my hair. Basically, I washed my hair on Sunday. I spoke to you guys on Saturday. I washed my hair on Sunday and then I just shoved it up on top. But then today I was like, no, I want it down. But I never normally do that. Once I've had it up, I don't try and like style it out but I really try to like make it look like I don't know so this is not how I normally have my hair and that's why it looks a bit it doesn't look great today but like I've not really done much today I've been home most of the time I work from home most of the time I tell you what this weekend I'm leaving the house because I need to be out and about more but oh my god I'm chatting again um so yeah I'm, I'm gonna make some lunch I need to make some lunch <laughs> batteries for my whisk I keep forgetting that I need to buy more batteries oh so annoying guys it is so hot outside oh my god so i am going to make a smoothie and i thought i'd make one with you these are the ingredients that i'm going to use for my smoothie i've decided i'm just going to make the same smoothie that i made the other day that i showed you so we've got avocado banana frozen blueberries, spinach and cacao powder with a little bit of flaxseed that I've got left over simply because I just want to get, get this used up. So yeah, this is what we're having. Oh, and, 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 I forgot I always have coconut water as well. So that is what we're having in my smoothie today. And we don't measure, we literally just go with the flow and just slap it all in. And we don't need that. That's not really routine. Slap it all in. Slap it all in. And then we add a banana. Do you want to add the banana? Yeah. Just so I chop it. 
Uh, I don't think you need to. This one's not a frozen banana, so it's easy. And I'm also yeah. going to add the avocado. Oops, Daisy. Oh, wow. Uh, I broke into two. Mm, That's the fine. Mm, the best bread in the I'm going to smooth in all of this, and I am not a. I'm very messy at this. I'm not even doing it nicely and neatly. I'll shove that in and take this out. Like so, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm no professional. Oh. What a mess. What a mess. Uh, oh, Dre, can you put a spinach in, please? I forgot. Put two cubes of spinach. Is this it? Yeah, how many? Two. Two Bloop. ones. And. Block. Yep, no. And then what? Um, a teaspoon of the flaxseed. Teaspoon? I never knew how the flaxseed needs to be. Should, should I just use this scoop? Yeah, just like, just a little bit in. Yeah. In fact, you could do the rest now, Dre, because I don't feel my um, How many spinach did you put in? Two. Mm, should I do one more? Let's yeah. do one more, let's be healthy. Mm. I just can't remember how many I normally do. One more, yeah, that's fine. And then... Um, Some of this stuff. Yeah, get the... the um, we need the measuring spoon. Mm. Oh, I'll just use this one, whatever. Put two... Put, um... I don't know. Put like a big, a big spoon full of that in. What is that one? Oh, a half... No, a quarter. quarter. Oh yeah, no, we need more than a quarter. Scoop it out. Mm, it smells nice, right. doesn't it? I wish you could taste it through the camera. I said mm. that before in a video. We went to Harrods. Oh yeah. And then Cafe. Smell it through the camera. Yeah, that's perfect. No, go oh, on. This part? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's nice and smooth. I wonder if that's enough actually. Maybe a little bit more. I want yeah. it to be. Oh, actually, no, I think that's enough. Because sometimes it, it actually stays powdery. Okay. Maybe just like a little, that's just, right. just a little scoop know. more. Just a little scoop more. And then, last but not least, we're going to add the coconut water. So um, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add, um, so I'm going to add a little scoop more. I can't just think Why is it? Oh, hi, Lachey. Hi. That's it. Right, that'll do. That should do. And then... That's a much better angle. Not really, but I'll have to do for now. <laughs> and then, um, so yeah, add the water. I'm just going to pour. Again, I don't have specific measurements. I literally just shove whatever in there, whatever I think. Oh, that's just empty. Okay. That's the last bit. <laughs> That's from last time. And then we are done. Pardon? Yeah. The blueberry chocolate beast. The mummy's blueberry chocolate booster. Yeah, that's what I called it. Oh, it's not plugged in. Might help if it's plugged in. Wait, uh, excuse me. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you the friends. It's. Let's just open it up. On page 953. Wait, where is it? Oh, never mind. Where is it? Also, oh, Mummy's blueberry chocolate is stuff. Oh, oh gosh, it's so hot. Right, and then we're gonna switch it on. I'll oh, just do it. Switch it on. I don't know if it's gonna work. Might help if I switch it on there. Oh, it's this book. Switch it on. I like it to be, I just like to make sure, so yeah, do it one more time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
I'm too hot, I need to shove my hair up because, what am I doing? It is too hot in here. Behind, cool. behind the scenes, uh, why does she like reach right next to the camera? Because the camera angle is like, keep on the cupboard. Like, it's basically saying I've put the camera in the cupboard. Well, let me get a bubble and I'll <laughs> Right, it's so hot, I'm so over having my hair down. Let's just quickly shove it up and then we can um, go. Are we not going in the back garden? Okay, that'll do. I want to go in there, see if we can film it. Out there. Out there. <laughs> in, in right, outside. let's see how this has turned out. There we go. Oh, say it's forever to get on blurry. Guys, by the way, um, I'm about to pour the smoothie into my glasses, but we have like created our own little hack. And basically, we use jam jars as glasses now. So I've still got some of my old glasses and I was gonna replace them with like a new set. And then basically, now that we have smoothies quite a lot, I basically just use old jam jars. And that's what I have in my cupboard. So if you come round to mine, Jare, stop it, you again, <laughs> no. stop, I saw you, <laughs> no. you are, if you was to come round to my house, guaranteed that you're going to get a drink out of a jam jar basically, so some of you might think it's strange, some of you might do it already, or some of you might think it's genius, I personally think it's genius, right, so that's what we're going to do, we're going to pour, I know I was waiting for an answer like, right, Imperially. yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. right, yeah. Okay. Um, so yeah, so that's what we're going to do now. I'm going to pour it into my jam jar. Make sure it's nice and... Okay, it's not as runny as I'd like it to be, but it should still work. <laughs> that's that's what what I'm going to drop the camera in there. Come on, cameraman. You're meant to be doing a good job of me filming, Jerry. Of me vlogging. <laughs> Are you ready? Let's yep. show them what we've got. A bit gloopy, but it should taste good. <laughs> I should have put a little bit more coconut water in, but it should be fine. It should be fine. Look at that. Gloop, gloop. Mm, mm, mm. Don't do a close up on me, Jerry. Don't do it as you. I need to concentrate, Jerry. Come on. Don't let me down. This has to be the best work that I've ever done in the whole wide world. <laughs> right, that's it. I'm literally just getting the last bit. Yeah, I think I'm over it now. Do you think I would like it? Yeah. Why does it look like a Nutella and there was like spinach, there's spinach in there and it looks like Nutella? I'm gonna taste it. Oh, I'm hot. It's too hot. I'm gonna taste it. Mmm. Do you know what? I should have put I should put more cacao powder in it. Actually, it doesn't taste that chocolate. You just don't like it. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna, can I try some? Mm -hmm. Using this one. Whatever. Wait, I want I want I want I want, I want to look professional. <laughs> You don't like it? Lachey? You don't like it? Lachey, do you want to try some? It's nice. It's nice. You don't like it? 
like that. No. Oh. I think it's nice. Is she coming? I don't know. Mm. Lachey's turn. This one. Yeah. I needed to put a bit more water in, but coconut water, that's fine. I like it. Do you? But the end tastes like, kind of. Like really? I don't think there's any. Way to be dramatic. I think it's nice. I like it. Well, I made it for me anyway, but just letting you try some. I think it tastes nice. It does taste chocolatey. It does? Just that I'm it to taste like dark chocolate. I think it's nice, especially now why it's so hot. It's satisfying. Mm. Me and Jare are about to go into the back garden, but before we go, I thought I would quickly show you what I got from Superdrug. Shiny face. <laughs> um, oh, move my bag out of the way. Um, what did I get? Oh, do you know what? It's not even anything interesting. I basically just bought some skincare for Lachey because she's 11 now and I wanted her to just, instead of using her body cream, I didn't want her to use that on her face. Um, so I just picked up this and I did check at the pharmacy and I just said, will my daughter be okay to use this? But what I'm going to do is continue to just use water and this face cream, but only use this maybe twice a week, just in case. I don't know. I don't know what's for the best yet, but I picked up some of this for Lachey because she's getting older now. I picked up this for myself because I absolutely love this spray on and you just wipe it off with this and I just find it so quick and easy and convenient. Love this. Love, love, love this. Which one did I pick up though? Is this a sensitive? Yes, that one. I also picked up some toothbrushes for Jeray because I have just had him using normal toothbrushes but I feel like he is only nine and I need to stop forcing him to use adult toothbrushes so I don't know I saw these and thought actually these will probably be better for Jure so I just picked up two of those as well we'll see how he gets on with them then I also picked up this because I'm running out of um, my lip balms and I have been using the expensive lip balms from Rituals and I'm running low so I am going to stock up on, I'm going to go back on the website soon and stock up on loads of theirs because even though they're expensive they're really nice but, um, but in the meantime I just picked up this I also picked up some body cream for Jeray because Lachey uses a different one. Lachey! Yeah. yeah, thank you. So Lachey uses this one um, and it's really, really good for dry skin. And she, she hasn't got, I don't think it's eczema, but it looks like it could be. So we use this one because that's really good. But Jeray's skin's okay, so I just picked up this for him. It's something, yeah, picked up some of this, Enriched Cream. This is Superdrug's own, but yeah quite good there you go it's a better view so I use this again it's for dry and sensitive skin um, but I just think it's good it does the job so I use that and then because I just couldn't help myself and I always seem to do this I picked up this and I've not actually got any nail varnish on at the moment I'm turning my rings around oh yeah this is my ring that I got from a Primark haul but I really like it that one and on this hand hand I'm using this I really like that but yeah I haven't got any I'm trying to give my nails a break so every now and again if I'm not going anywhere then I'll not wear nail varnish and I never used to do that I would always have nail varnish on no matter what but I'm giving them a break but then I saw this and thought oh that looks like a really nice cute color so I'm going to give that a try this weekend so that looks really nice I really don't need any more nail varnish but I do love this one I don't mind the Primark ones I picked up a Primark one and then afterwards I remembered actually this is my favourite. This is the one. Why do you keep blurring out? Stop blurring out and let me tap the screen. Come on. There we go. This is my favourite. I love Rimmel. Rimmel London. 60 Super Shine. Literally it dries in 60 seconds. That's why I love this. So yeah. I bought this colour to add to my collection. This is the... 
sorry, I was a bit too close. Can't get it to focus. This was the 405 Rose Limbertine. So I'll let you know how I get on with this one in my next vlog. But anyway, Jere really wants us to go out in the back garden. So me and him are going to go out in the sunshine for an hour or so before I come back in and make dinner. <laughs> It was on record the whole time. Is it? Yeah. I'm getting ready. You can see me in the shadow. I'm waving. Okay, so your shadow. Yeah, you can see my shadow right there. Ah. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know where I'm going to go. I'm going to watch you for a little bit first and then I might try and do some Spanish. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so. I'll have to look at the last time. It's hard work, isn't it? It's hard work trying to get I'm not so ready. Okay, guys, so. My mum over there, she's doing her Spanish and I'm holding the camera for the first time. So, I was like, I'm doing a, like a bit of like cricket and some wiffle ball type thingy. I have some really good tricks I want to show you guys. This is, if you're, if if you're a basketballer, this is some skills like you need to do. So when you hold it, you need to get you need to get a good position. Your hand needs to be covering the ball properly. So what you're gonna do? This is like this is would be like an H angle or something. And then. You grab it, you go down and back up, down and back up. So guys, guys, thank you for watching my rubbish basketball training. Jeray's taking over my vlog. Yeah, I'm taking over. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, yep. Yeah. I'm saying hi to myself. Can you see it? I can I see it. Look what that must He's got my camera and he's taking over. Yeah, I put it in your stories. Shout out to my mum. Go. <laughs> oh, so close. At Leonie J. Is it, is it dot com? Mummy. Mummy, is it at leonijay.com? At leonijay or it's leonijay.com. Oh, record. It's alright, I've got it. Oh, they can't see me. And over to the real intro. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, Jare has already ended this video, he just said. But I'm just going to quickly end it here because I've been talking for so long and I cannot imagine how long this vlog is now. Um, but I haven't like posted in a while, minutes. so I hope you don't mind it being this long. But anyway, I'm going to end it here. Thank you, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my video on Wednesday. So hopefully you'll join me then too. Bye guys. I'm going to like stop it when my head hits. Okay then. Uh.